Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Are you looking to live off grid? Don't get stuck on solar. Wind is another great option. And in today's video, we have the top things you should know. Number one, what is a wind turbine? A wind turbine is a machine that turns kinetic energy into electricity using the aerodynamic force of its rotor blades. Number two, can you use a wind turbine to power your home? Well, the answer is yes. Wind turbines can be used both on grid and off the grid. The only thing you should know is that if you plan to use it in an off grid context, it likely won't be able to supply all of your power. Number three, what are the advantages of wind power? Well, of course, wind is renewable energy, so it's good for the environment. Like all renewable energy sources, it also reduces your electric bill. And if you produce enough power, it can even become an additional income source. Number four, what are the disadvantages of wind power? Unfortunately, the wind doesn't always blow, which means that wind power can be unreliable. Wind turbines do produce some noise. Although, if you sight them far enough from the house, this shouldn't be a problem. Other factors to consider are planning permissions. Some areas may have zoning that restricts how tall a wind turbine can be or where it can be placed. You also need to find appropriate space on your land for the wind turbine. And you do need to make an upfront investment. Number five, what are the factors you should consider if you are planning a small-scale wind project? Well, the most important thing to do is first map the wind speed and direction on your land to find the best location for your wind turbine. You also want to take into account any obstacles that could block wind coming to the turbine, such as tall trees. Once you've found your location, then you have to start shopping for the turbine. When considering different models, think about the size, weight, and height of the turbine. You'll also need to factor in local zoning laws. Again, there may be some height restrictions that come from the city or county. And a few other things you might not think about. Does the manufacturer of the turbine you're going to select have a maintenance team nearby? If not, it could be hard to have your turbine repaired. What do other people think of the turbine? Has it worked well for them? Finally, all else aside, cost can be a major factor in selecting the machine you wish to use. And number six. How do you install a wind turbine? Well, I'll start out by saying, as with anything that involves your electrical system, it's best to have a qualified professional install it. But if you plan to install a wind turbine yourself, you will need the following items. A concrete foundation, complete with connection bolts, a long metal pole, conduit to run from the generator at the top of your turbine down the pole to your inverter, of course, the wind turbine itself, an inverter, and a battery. But now that we've covered the basics of small-scale wind turbines, here's one additional fact. Did you know they're super efficient? Like solar panels, wind turbines produce DC current. This current works directly with the appliances in your home, unlike AC current produced by the grid, which must be converted to DC when it enters your home. This means that DC power sources can save as much as 90% in energy costs by reducing power losses. The problem is this. Most home power distribution components, like circuit breakers, are designed to work with AC current. So when you have a DC power source, you must first convert the DC current to AC, then AC back to DC with an inverter. Poof, there go your efficiency gains. Fortunately, the folks at Purdue University have been working to solve this issue. They recently converted an old 1920s house into a nanogrid home that runs entirely on DC from start to finish. No conversion necessary. Even better, the house still has an inverter and battery that can tie into the grid and store extra energy. Unfortunately, it may be hard for you to completely mimic the nanogrid home, as the engineers at Purdue had to retrofit all of the home's appliances and power distribution components to work directly with the DC current. But someday soon, DC-powered homes may be far more common. And in the meantime, you can still power your home with wind. You just need to get an inverter. No, it won't be as efficient as the nanogrid home, 
but it will still likely be more affordable than grid power. And if you think the wind turbines themselves are expensive, think again. There are many affordable options out there. One company even designed a wall turbine for city dwellers. So as long as there's some wind gusting past your house, there's likely an option for you. But what do you think? Do you have any stories about off-grid wind? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down listings at gokchecapital.com listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.